and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at 147. Happy 11th of June, everybody. I was just getting the painting up for today. So this is composition. Now, the image on the website shows it up that way, but the symbols on the actual canvas are this way. So if I can zoom in so that you can see it, the symbols are landscape, though it shows the picture portrait. I think it's one that we can get away with anyway. So we're going to test our lines and our steps today. That's what I'm going for. I think I'm going to do all the black, get all my lines in, and then I'm going to do some little steps with the rest. That's my thought. I'm using a pen today that was sent to me by Marble Mate. I'm not sure if the company is still going. It is linked on my website, um, so you can have a look there. And then I'm using the Mint Green Limited Edition Tray from July 2001. Uh, this is a full-size Admore Zest tray. So let me get some 310. I'll be able to see this, won't I? Look at that. Let's get a load of 310 in my tray. I like to give it a little tap on my hand and just get all the excess out of the way and I can deal with all these nice straight soldiers. Um, I actually nipped a hobby craft today for something and uh, I got to the till and they're like, oh, have you got your hobby craft card? And I'm like, oh, actually no. I know where it is though. It's in my cover paper holder because I've used it. Uh, it got put in there when I did a video showcasing getting a straight line on your painting using a gift card. And it's still in there. So my hobby craft card could probably do with making it back into my purse soon because <clears throat> I don't actually use it when I'm diamond painting. It is really helpful if you've, you know, if you do find that your lines aren't particularly straight and you need a little bit of assistance in that department, gift cards are perfect for that. However, I am one, a little bit of a fussy, fussy perfectionist um, and I've been diamond painting for four years. So I think the combination of both of those things, the fact that I am fussy and I think that along with the amount of practice I've been able to have means that I don't particularly need to use the gift card to get myself a straight line. I do need to stop picking up two diamonds though, but I've just filled up this wax so every now and then it keeps bursting out of the pen. But yeah, I hope you are all enjoying the weather if you're in the UK. We actually had a really nice day yesterday. We actually had sunshine. I don't know if the whole of the UK did, uh, but around here it reached 22 degrees. That is like full on summer for us Brits. Yeah, 22 degrees, it was quite warm. Um, it's cooler today, I think it's a high of 20. But yeah, two days in a row without any rain. That's like the British summer. It'll be gone again soon, but we'll enjoy it while it's here. And hopefully it's actually fallen over a weekend as well. So it might be nice to try and get the garden a, a little bit straighter. We have given it a couple of tidy ups, but give it a, a real summer tidy up, I think is the next stage. And get that grass again, because especially when up here, up, up in north, or up north there, um, We've had uh, quite a lot of quite a lot of rain, quite a lot of days where there's been a bit of rain, and in turn, any nice days we've had have not fallen on a weekend. 
So actually trying to get the garden done is not an easy feat. We have quite a big garden, which is what makes it harder. It's not just a, a 20 minute job when you've finished work and, and the garden looks good again. It's not that easy. Um, in our garden, it's pretty big. It's I think it's the biggest garden on the street, even though we have shoved a conservatory on the back and taken up some of the space, it is still a big garden, despite that. And the back garden is pretty much grass. So it takes, it takes a good few hours to give our, our grass a good cut and a good strim around the edges. So yeah, it's not an after work job, it's more of a weekend job. So I think we might try and spend a little bit more time out there and, and get it down to a more manageable time frame of maybe an hour or an hour and a half, then nearer the two, three hours. We'll see how it goes, if that's in the plans for this weekend. It's in my thoughts, it's just whether it actually gets actioned. But yeah, hope everybody is doing well and having a good day whatever the weather is for you i'm just enjoying a little bit of sunshine and i plan on getting a lot of washing done today i don't like to have to put the maiden up or use my dryer um, in the summer i would rather do more washing on the days when it's nice and get it out on the line um, and just you know blast a load of it in a few days when we do get some sun then have the maiden up or have the dryer going just because it's raining that day and if we actually get some nice weather for longer than two days then I would go to doing a load a day and keep on top of it it's just not happened so far but we are in June so there's still hope that in you know the rest of June, July or August we may get some nice days on the trot and then I'm sure before we know it it will be autumn and it will be too cold and I'll be back to having to find somewhere to dry it all because with six adults in the house we can get through a fair amount of washing. Right, on to comments and questions. That's enough talk about chores and tasks. Uh, Juliet, she says, wonderful waffle. She said she she's had challenging stuck drills once in a while. She says the grinder is awesome. She says the worst was the rhinestone colour. She said nothing worked. She finally ordered some rhinestones to replace them. Otherwise, she says two boats, so two of the boats you get in kits, rocked together, work well, uh, and didn't scratch. She says, love your mini paintings, hugs from Utah. Thank you, Juliet. I have actually had the odd set of diamonds in these mini kits that are stuck together. Um, not all of the diamonds but some of them within it so what I think I might do is when I de-kit I will pop those in a bag like I did with the last lot and maybe I will try all of the different ways of splitting them apart and see which one works the best the quickest though I don't have one of those grinder things Maybe I need to get one of those. I always fear that they'll scratch the diamonds. But maybe I'll look and see if I can pick one of those up so that I can include that in the test. Uh, Angel, she says she's one of the people who suggested a change to change up some of the diamonds for the mini paintings so thank you for that angel uh, she says glow in the dark diamonds would look so pretty on the space set she said ab's or even the crystal rhinestones 
would look extremely pretty on the floral set. She says, thank you for taking our opinions and stuff like that into consideration. I'm glad we can be of help with some of your diamond painting goals. Thank you, Angel. Uh, she says, these mini paint gem pet paintings are so pretty. Yeah, so that comment was left on the 2nd of June. So that was the first time I sort of discussed ABs slash glow in the dark diamonds. Uh, but yeah, I've used quite a few glow in the dark now. I've also used quite a few ABs. In fact, one of my ABs, I've used them all up. The one I did yesterday has been all used up. So that's some progress with that one, I suppose. Those diamonds aren't wasted, though I have got some plain diamonds in exchange that can go in my spares. Um, the only set that I am not changing any to ABs or glow in the dark or anything like that is this art set, um, this museum art. I feel like this needs to stay as normal diamonds. AB diamonds don't work for everything, but they do work for some things. And they definitely work in the flowers. The space set does work with the glow in the dark really well as well. I've enjoyed using the ABs in those, uh, sorry, the glow in the dark in those. Okay, so I am doing sort of each line of black. I don't particularly have a rhyme or a reason. I'm sort of working right to left, but every now and then I throw a different, do a different line. I'm just going with the flow and going until the line stops. I think I might need some more wax soon though. I feel like this pen has just eaten all the wax that I've put in it and it needs more. We'll keep going. Um, just Shields says she really likes the painting on the 5th of June. Thank you. Uh, Nancy, she said she's still playing catch up. Uh, so she was up early this morning working on her June waffle along with you. She wanted to say that she does have a few of the mini paintings in her stash. She has the museum and the national parks. She said she had decided not to pick up the flower series, but watching you put them together is changing her mind. Uh, she's added to, she said, I've added them to my wish list. And then she said, okay, if I'm being honest, they're in my cart. <laughs> I love that. Well, you can class your cart as a wish list. The difference is you tend to make your wishes come true when you go and check out with anything else that you may decide to have purchased from that shop. Um, thank you all as well so much for your orders on launch. They, they're so much appreciated. We do a launch weekend to help those um, mainly international customers so that they can combine you know, as many of the new things that they may want and save on shipping uh, and enable them to order their bits and pieces together. Um, it was actually a request that we sort of went to a certain launch date or at least all launched at once rather than as just announcing them as and when they were ready, which is what we initially did. As demand has increased um, for some of the colours of the trays, we have changed it to, you know, giving a week's notice or just short of a week's notice for a launch just so that people have chance to prepare, decide what they want, decide if they want anything else and can still benefit from combining shipping uh, with their other items that they want. And they can just pay one shipping charge for the whole order. 
because I agree there is nothing worse than placing an order and realising the day that it's posted that there's something else been released that you want. So I completely get that. But thank you all so much for your support, as always, every time something new is launched. Uh, we are busy bees in the background, um, always, you know, working on whatever the next tray may be. We've been working on printing July's trays this week. Um, got some funky, the, the colour has, the one of the colours for next month has received very positive comments from household members when they've come home from work or whatever and seen the first one printed. So that's always a good sign. Uh, if they actually, you know, considering they see trays coming out of their ears every day um, and they're forever seeing trays being taken off the printer, for them to comment how much they like a colour um, when the first tray or, or the second tray, depending on what time of day it is, comes off the printer, is saying something. I think it's going to be a good one for July. I hope so anyway, I think it's awesome. But then again, I like all the colours, so I might not I might not be the best the best um the best person to ask which is a good colour because I like them all. Um Nancy, she said she missed the long waffle, waffles and she's so glad that it's fixed now. So am I, Nancy. It, it drove me up the wall that it actually happened to hit. Even one waffle was annoying, but for it to hit two was just, oh, I was, I was so gutted. But I am... I am double checking every single time and all the original videos are now stored as well. So if anything goes wrong like that again, um, I will be able to re-upload or re-edit the video and re-upload, albeit delayed, but at least, at least it will be there. And I won't be talking to myself, which is always, which is probably a good thing. Because I think sometimes I'm mad and wacky enough as it is without talking to myself on top of it. Uh, the cat lady, she says she thinks she might give uh, the Stabilo pen a try. As the plastic and resin pens are beginning to make her fingers sore. She says, do you have a link for the stronger tips? So in the Stabilo pen, you see this one is just a normal tip with brass in it. I had one with stainless steel on it in it. They're actually from Everlasting Tips. So if you go to our favourites on the website, there is actually a link, I think, to Everlasting Tips. They're on Etsy. They're based in Australia. And they're the ones that do just the replacement nib parts. So, in fact, I could probably do with ordering some more. So for all these pens that have to have this plastic end and I can't switch it out for the full metal end, then I could switch them for the everlasting tips. So maybe I'll have to place an order from her soon as well. <coughs> uh, Liz, she says... Um, another lovely video. She loves the colour of the tray that I used on the 7th. I would tell you what colour that is if I could remember. Uh, she says she finished before me, so she's utilising her time by making a diamond painting pen. She said she has an old Stabilo pen that she couldn't get the inserts for, the refits for. So she's inserted a pink pen. Uh, she said she'll use it tomorrow and she'll take it on holiday with her when she goes away on Friday morning. Love it. I love the fact that something, you know, that was, that was kindly made and sent to me has helped so far at least two subscribers. One, to keep them entertained um, 
and give them something to do when they beat me finishing their section uh, and gives them a pen to take away on holiday and another one that you know if it works for the cat lady then she can potentially try and help and find a pen that doesn't hurt her to you know hurt her hands when using it because you don't want that with diamond painting um, the other thing, I don't know what part of holding the pens is making your fingers sore. I don't know whether it's something that you can switch up or whether the soft grip on the Stabilo pen will help you. But hopefully it will. So I'm doing the little step method on this because I do like the way, I prefer the step method to the checkerboard method. And these diamonds fit so snugly next to each other that the step method works really well to get a nice fit. Doesn't work as well if you have diamonds that need a little bit of space around them. Um, some paintings you do find that there's a little gap all the way around the diamonds. Doesn't work as well with those, but these are a nice snug fit diamond. I just need to keep getting rid of the extra wax that this pen is giving off and then I've picked up two so that's why I've just skipped further up because my pen picked up two so there was no point in trying to fight it off I may as well just go straight up to where I could fit two and then carry on and then get myself confused when I realize the steps done quicker than I thought <sighs> It's all good. Uh, Leanne said she started Mother Earth yesterday. Woohoo! She says this is one she got specifically because of watching me work on it. You will love it. I love the colours in Mother Earth. It, it was a really, really enjoyable painting to do. And I think that was primarily because of the colours in it. Um, she says she loves that I share my work in progress or whip. Oh, there's a little bit of little bit of plastic sticking out on that diamond. I didn't want to sit snug so it can get out of my way. Um, she says, and we have the opportunity to work on it together. She says, or do the same projects and be countries apart. Thank you for sharing your experiences. Have a great week. Oh, thank you. I love the fact that other people have got Mother Earth. Say, so I picked that painting up because we were ordering, we were ordering a painting for Megan from Diamond Art Club that had come back into stock. She'd put a notification on. I think it was called The Lion's, is it The King's Breath? Maybe. I'm pretty sure that's one that she absolutely fell in love with. There was a few others that she liked, um, but she fell in love with that one. Um, we went and had a look um, when it came in stock. And there was another one she liked and she picked that one up. And to make the best benefit of shipping, I decided I needed to add another Diamond Art Club to my stash. And I just went hunting at what was on the website. I didn't have a particular one that I necessarily wanted. But the, the colours in Mother Earth sort of jumped out at me. And I thought, you know, why not? That'll be a nice one to do. And it was. It was, it was an amazing one to do. I absolutely loved it. Um, April. She says, love your videos. She's been watching for a while now, she said. She said she needs to ask. Um, she bought two blank canvases, she says, but she doesn't know if they are for squares or rounds. She says, does it matter? Uh, yes, it does matter. The square diamonds are actually smaller than the round diamonds. So if you try to fit round diamonds onto a canvas, um, a square canvas, you would find that they start overlapping. And if you try to fit squares on a round canvas, then 
you would end up with with bigger gaps all the way around the outside so it does actually matter you get I think you get four square diamonds to a centimeter roughly there might be a fraction of a millimeter in it uh, but you only get three point something in a round somebody will know the actual figures I don't and I definitely don't off the top of my head um, I've if I've seen I have had a blank round canvas and the actual it wasn't a grid line of squares it was a mini circle on the blank canvas I don't know if they're all the same uh, the easiest way to check is probably to put a square or a round diamond on it and see if it fits in the square or if it's too big. Uh, if it's too big for the square or too small for the square, but it is more than likely to be a square blank canvas if it has grid lines. Um, she said, also, where did you get your bags from? Thanks. So the bags that I hold all my ABs in, the silver bags, they are actually from our shop. So addmorezest.com forward slash shop or click on the tab for shop and they're in there. Um, we sell them as a set of 20 bags with one book ring, which is sort of a nice amount and you can buy as many bags as you want. And I don't always have 20 bags on each book ring. Sometimes I have more, sometimes I have less. But I use them for storing my ABs as well as extra diamonds if I'm working on a particularly large painting and I have leftovers. I tend to put them in those bags when I'm kitting up. And then I just hang the little book ring off the side of my little rolling cart that I prime well I used to primarily keep in the conservatory um, once Luna the puppy stops being a puppy then it probably will be back in the conservatory but for now it I just take it out of my craft room when I need it um, and I tend to just hang them on a little hook on there so that if I need to fill up my pots I can do so yeah they're from our shop. Um, Lady Dak, she says, oh, she really wants more of the paint gem sets, she said. Um, she says, but she also really wants to move to Wiltshire. So she has to mind the pennies, she said, at least until launch night. She said, seriously, I need to cut right back, she said, on purchases for a few months. Uh, she thinks my wants and needs video will definitely include more on the wants side. Oh, yeah. I mean, my needs versus wants, a lot of it is a want. I think the more of the need is the things that will really help you with the diamond painting more. Um, as a thing to buy first. I can't even remember how I worded it. It was quite a few years ago. I do need to revisit that video um, and see if my wants versus needs have changed. I know my wants have increased, but that doesn't take much when they keep bringing new stuff out now, does it? Um, Diamond Art Studio. Hey Sam, uh, she says, love, love in following along with another great whip and waffle journey. She said, and yes, Giles changed the mid-shade colour um, on Zesty Wolf to ABs so as not to overpower it in the lighter shade. She said, as the lighter and darker oranges of the DMC number either side help to blend it in a little bit more. I knew Giles had blinged his zesty wolf up. Maybe it's because it may be the last diamond painting he ever does. <laughs> but absolutely amazing for him to give it a go. 
um, and join us last December. It was so much fun to see his progress and having ABs in it is always a bonus. Bring that little bit of sparkle. Um, oh, by the way, I did I did mention the other day. Now, I don't know if this ended up on one of the, cut, the videos that cut off or not. In fact, there's two things. I'm not sure if they ended up on the cut out part or not. One is um, Diamond Art Studio are doing a um, raffle for Ukraine um, where you could potentially win a Zesty Wolf diamond painting kit. Now they are wonky kits, so they are kits that do have a little bit of something wrong with them. Not enough that you can't do the painting, because that wouldn't be fair. Um, but enough that we couldn't send them out to uh, people in their orders. We, you know, we'd, we don't aim for any disappointment when orders are received. Um, I think it's UK only, but they do have detail. Oh, it's UK only unless you're willing to pay towards the shipping cost if you live abroad. Sorry, I think that's what it said on the website. But if you go to Diamond Art Studio UK, um, if you go to their website and have a look under their charity section, they have full details. They have full details listed uh, where you can potentially get your hands on a Zesty Wolf kit. So that was one thing. And I don't think I've seen any comments on it, which is what makes me think it's been cut off. The second thing that I think turned up on a cut off video is we may have turned on the giveaway tab on the website. And it's been rather quiet. It's only been entered by people that have found it. Um, so we have opened the giveaway tab on the website. Um, I created, I went through all the diamond paintings that I've done unboxing videos for. Some in the past, some that have been filmed for the future. We created some giveaway bundles, which have off the canvas items. They might have a diamond painting, they might have a special painting. Diamond painting related items. I think they have a few off the canvas items in them. Basically, we, we pulled together some pizza boxes of goodies for giveaways. Uh, and then we did some mystery bags, which went up on the website and disappeared super quick as usual. So if you fancy the chance to win a giveaway, do head over to our giveaways tab. It is open worldwide, um, but it does get sent slower mail um, because we're paying for postage. So they, they're, they're also not as light as some of our orders are. They're pretty heavy. So they do cost a pretty penny to ship, um, but I have international subscribers, so I want international option. I, I don't like, there's a few, there's a few YouTube um, that I watch and they, they say, oh, I'm giving away a gift card for $50 to Hobby Lobby. And it's like, oh, okay then. So the rest of the world don't count then, do they? <laughs> um, but yes, ev everybody can enter. Uh, the detail, you know, just pop in your details in the giveaway form. We don't ask for things like names and addresses. We just ask for name and email address and I think something else. Megan did the form. Um, and then we'll email the winners. I'm not sure when we're going to close it off. Uh, when it gets to probably a ridiculous amount of entries. Quite often we hit quite a few hundred. Um, if the number of entries seem to be getting pretty high then we will just turn off the giveaway tab and it will disappear so get your entries in one entry per person any duplicates will be removed if somebody enters 
a lot of duplicates because it does say one entry per person. Um, we understand sometimes two appear because somebody made a mistake or their screen froze. We will just remove one of the entries and leave your other one in. Um, if anybody decides that they want to visit the website every day for a week and enter, then we will just remove them all. Because that's not fair. Play the game fair and you might have a chance of winning. So bob over to that. I know that one must have got cut off because there would have been more entries than the few people that have just found the tab. Because on mobile, the tab doesn't automatically show up unless you go hunting. Uh, like it shows up, but you have to actually have clicked on the little menu bar at the top and scrolled all the way to the bottom to see it. And if you were just hunting for our favourites or videos, you might not actually see it. So head on over there and enter into the giveaway. Just once, please. It just saves more admin work. Um, and we'll arrange at some point over the next week or two. Not sure when. Uh, but we will bob the winners an email um, to get your address details. So that's another way that, you, you know, we don't know whether somebody is international or not until we email them to say you've won. So there's none of this saying it's international and then it not being. We have no way of knowing what country you live in. We just do a random number generator for the numbers on the side of the spreadsheet and get it to pick. Okay, that's plenty of talk about giveaways. So much more than I think I did in the video that cut off. Uh, Susan, she says she really likes the flower painting on the 3rd of June. It's one of the prettiest, she said in her opinion. She's back from her trip. I hope you had an amazing time, Susan. Uh, she says so she will be catching up over the next few days. Thank you so much for sharing. So her comment was on the 3rd of June's video, uh, but she did comment on 6th or the 7th. YouTube doesn't give me exact date. It just gives me X number of days ago. And you never know what time zone it's, it's deciding to play in. So uh, I hope you had an amazing time, Susan. And I'm sure we'll have more of your comments coming as you catch up. Um, Colouring with Lou. She said, thank you for another enjoyable waffle. She totally agrees um, with what I said about the quality of kits. She says she too doesn't mind working on both budget and premium kits. Most of the budget ones are really good quality, which they are. Um, she says she has been diamond painting for two years and has got through a lot of kits. Yeah, many budget ones are still nice quality, nice to work on. Um, premium ones are just that little touch of special. That's, that's the only real way I can describe it. I keep trying to think if there's something else that that I could compare it against, you know, maybe a household item. Um, but it hurts my brain to think like that. So um, it's good to know that some people get what I mean by that. Um, it's not an anti against any of the budget kits because I'm constantly working on the budget kits. And some of the deer kits. It's all about mixing it up for me. Bring the variety. Uh, Michaela, she said she ordered Mother Earth because of watching my videos. She says, thank you. Oh, I wonder how many more Mother Earth Diamond Art Club has sold since I was doing my video. Mm. Does make me wonder how many they do. Um, but that's their information, isn't it? It's one of those, I like to work on what I like to work on. If anything is sponsored for any reason, I'll let you guys know. 
Um, I'm honest about what is given to me and what I buy. Um, and I will work on either. I'm not all about working on something that was given to me or something that I bought. I actually work on either the painting that my decision wheel has chosen for me from the ones I've kept because I like um, or I work on the one that's my favourite at the time. And I've decided to do these mini sets because I'm really enjoying doing them. Not because they let me pick some mini sets and were happy to gift them to me. Um, that's amazing, but they did that because I wanted to buy some for this. They were like, no, we're happy to give them you. You don't need to buy them. So I was going to do them anyway, even if I paid pennies for them. But they give us a discount code as well. So it benefits you as well as benefiting me. So I'll take the wins. Um, Jackie, she said after she finished watching the video, um, she tried to tried a couple of ways of unclumping her drills from her floral minis. So any ones that she found were stuck together, she tried a couple. Firstly, she said she tried squishing them between the two to, between the bottoms of two green boats. She said it did work on some of them, but not the ones that were like a solid ball. Okay. Um, she said then she tried putting a coin in a pot and shaking furiously. I'm, I'm waiting for the noise that's going to sound on this video when I do that one. Uh, she said that separated all but two of them. Uh, she had about 15 to separate at the beginning. She said in the end, after trying several more times, she chucked the last two. <laughs> I would have done the same, especially if the diamonds came from a mini set, because you will end up with loads left. You really will. Um, but yeah, the, the coin in like a pill bottle or something like that seems to be a very good one at working. But it would be interesting to compare a few and see how they work, especially because the diamonds will be from the same manufacturer. So it would be nice because it may be that, you know, different manufacturers use a different process to create their drills and it could have different results. So it would be quite nice to try a few and see which works best. But then you guys will also know the multiple different ways that you can split diamonds. Um, and you can do which one works for you. Because sometimes if you have two green boats right near you while you're sat down on the couch, they can be more favourable than having to get up and go and find a bottle and fish a coin out of your purse. I'm all for having options, especially if you're comfy and don't want to move. You need to have options for I'm willing to move, I don't want to move. <laughs> That's what I think anyway. Right, this has gone pretty quickly. We just have a bright red to go. But I knew this one would be a quicker one because there's less colours. Okay. Tony said she's all caught up on the waffles. Uh, she loves the paint gems. She said every time she goes to order either paint gems or one of my trays. Life happens, she says, and she's not able to. She says one day. Oh. She says, love seeing all the projects in the Facebook group and posting her own things. Yeah, I, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I absolutely love seeing the comments on the daily post with your updates for the June waffle. Not only that, I love seeing the comments 
from others. You know, there are quite a few people that, you know, take the time to reply to comments and paintings and, you know, express how nice the painting looks or the colours look, you know, and they take the time to, yeah, appreciate the work that somebody's put into their painting and I just love it. You can just see little friendships as well on the Facebook group and just kindness and that's, I just hope it stays that way forever because I do, I love it. I just love reading through. I might not always have the time to comment. Uh, I try and make sure I react to each post and I definitely make sure that I read each post. Um, and yeah, I just love seeing all the pictures of, of everything that everybody's working on. Um, I'm sure there is definitely a couple. There is, there is one. I can't remember whose it was now. As I've said before, I can be rubbish with names. But there is one that's got quite a bit of purple in. I think it's actually a Diamond Art Club painting. It's got quite a bit of purple in. Uh, I, I don't dislike purple. Just purple isn't my favourite colour. I think it stems from trying to scrapbook with purple. Because, you know, I'm not against the colour. But can I do a scrapbook page with purple in it? Nope. Um, I think it stems from that. It's I've, I've done a couple of purple paintings and I know I have at least one in my stash. So I say it's not a dislike. It's just, it's not my go-to. I think it's just built in from scrapbooking. When looking at pretty paper for scrapbooking, I, I just didn't look at purple because I knew I just wouldn't be able to create a page with it. I found it so hard, which didn't help. My youngest used to be dressed in purple quite a lot. And I could never get any anything that she wore with purple or even a hint of purple to just work on a page. I'd just have to pick a different colour. So I think it stems from that. But there is one painting on there that is, oh, it's just it's just making me want to go shopping uh, which maybe I shouldn't because I finally booked a hair appointment so normally my brother-in-law cuts my hair but I have finally decided rather than dyeing my hair myself and my brother-in-law cutting it who is a trained barber hairdresser does it amazing I love the way he does it which is why I always ask him to do it I decided to go treat myself and actually go and get hair dyed, washed, trimmed, all the full works. And it's a pretty penny, I'm telling you. Though I do have long hair and fine hair, so I'm sure she, I'm sure I'm going to get my money's worth out of her. Maybe I spend the time while getting my hair done looking at diamond paintings make a Christmas list or something. Okay, red is done. I feel like that is, that was a quick painting. I'm pretty sure timing of the videos wise, that was a quick painting. But we do get some quick in with others that aren't so much, which it's not always a bad thing because I think I can just hear the fact that the kids have come back in with the dog after a walk. So she often gets excited when she comes back from being on a walk and it takes a bit to calm her down. So I'll go and help them with that. Thank you all to you guys so much for watching. I'll be here tomorrow with another one. I hope you have a chance to join me, but I'll speak to you then.